Okay, guys, we're here to talk about some lights. People always ask me, what kind of lights do you prefer? Which ones do you think are the best? The quick answer is Kessel. Everything that I have seen in the Kessel line has been a phenomenal light, both fresh water and salt water. Now, of course, you know, in this hobby, everybody's going to have something to say, but that's my opinion. Um, are, uh, are there other lights that can grow plants and corals very well? Most certainly, most certainly. But this is what I use. Um, and this is not going to be like an unboxing video. This is just me talking about this light and, and some evidence from around the shop of what these lights can do. Uh, when you get the light, basically you get the LED puff, which has your color and your intensity on the top, and also has your daisy chain hookups if you want to actually put a control on on the pin. Uh, and it also comes with a ballast, which is real simple, plug and play. Uh, on the back side of it, you got the gooseneck. Uh, that's that's another, another kit that is just basically a bendy arm that attaches it with two screws to the light, and then it clamps onto the back of your aquarium. Um, very easy, very small, very nice to work with and just the light is just phenomenal. Go around and show you all some videos of uh, some plants and some corals and just talk about those a little bit. Thank you. Okay guys, this is the Kessel A80 Tuna Blue and this is my small frag tank. The one I'm pointing at right there is a, a regular Monopora and as you can see the square in the center of that is where it actually started growing. So that is how much it has grown in the last I would say two months. This is a green Echinata. As you can see, it's been here for a few months as well, and it is actually overgrowing its skeleton. This is your regular red cap Monopora. I fragged those out maybe two months ago. They were about one inch by one inch, and you could probably see where the new growth is. And don't forget about the mushrooms in the back there. Those things are going crazy. And it's just kind of a, a pretty light. It just looks good on top of the tank. There we go with some bubble coral. That guy's been in there for a little while. And as you can see, it is thriving. Um, it, pretty much between the light and just some uh, reef fluids I put in every now and then. And then here, got some more frags that have been here for a couple of weeks. They uh, are actually growing onto the other rocks, as you can see. And going to fresh water. This is the Kessel A80 Tuna Sun, which is made for freshwater plants. And as you can see, everything in these tanks is growing really good. Don't mind that little mess right there in the middle. Uh, these are just some uh, hygrophilia, you know, java moss, regular swords, and just common plants are not uh, too difficult. All right, these guys right here, this Monte Carlo, which is mostly sold as a fully aquatic plant, but I have them in my backpack filters and they are going crazy. As you can see all the new growth here. Then also here I have a lot of new growth. Those are the chain swords. You can see each one of those. That is all grown in the last couple of weeks. No joke. I've been using some Flourish Advance and it has made it go crazy. Okay guys, so I was just real quick around the shop showing what these lights uh, can do and it's the reason why I use them there. It's just great lights. And uh, you can get them for about a buck fifty, about 150 bucks for the light and the goose net. And of course the green box is for the fresh water and the blue box is going to be for your salt water. And uh, I guess that's about it. I hope y'all enjoy the video. Thank y'all for checking in. Thanks.